hello guys in the previous video we discussed about the map function and saw how we can use the map function to iterate an array but we all know that with the help of for loop we can also iterate an array but why are we not using the for loop here i saw many of the experienced developers cannot give a proper answer that why are they using map function over the for loop even when i started to learning javascript or react js i didn't know why i am using the map function instead of the for loop so I started searching in YouTube and Google for the answer but I cannot find any well described answer of that and after researching more and learning more about the map function and the for loop I came up with the proper answer which I will discuss now so I hope after watching this video your all doubts will be cleared so let's start from the beginning I have declared an array containing some names like Tony, Steve, Wanda, Peter so just like in any program we need to manipulate the array so let's try in this program let's try to capitalize every names containing in the names array so our final output must be looks like this it capitalize each and every word just like tony with small t became tony with capital t and also steve wonder peter you can see the first letter of every word became capitalized so a very common way to do this is to take the original array and generate a new array with the new data containing capitalized names and for that I created this function which takes a string as the input and returns that string with a capitalized first word. Just like it is capitalizing the first letter and the slicing the first letter from the string and also conjugating the capitalized letter and the rest of the string. So here is an example that if we pass any string just like we are passing abc as a string with all small letters the capitalized function's output will be like abc with a capital A. For gaining our required output which is this from our original array we can manually manipulate every element like this type of syntax but it is not the ideal way of manipulating any array and it is not the efficient way also if our array size become large this method can't be applied so we need some kind of a looping which will do the repetitive work and for loop is the one of the most basic way to iterating some process so if i wanted to manipulate the whole names array to this to the our required format first of all we need a empty array and the iterating very well so this is our new array with new names and we need a iterating very well this is a iterating very well and this is the condition for our for loop and it is the increment of the iterating very well and for manipulating our array original array so we need to push or append some the capitalized value each of the capitalized value into the new names so after this for loop our whole new array will be looks like this format the for loop in our case looping through all of the elements but we can't say that any for loop will definitely loop through all of the elements maybe the looping condition will be different or maybe the increment will be different or the iterating variable somehow initiate with other number like one or two so we can't concretely say that if we use the for loop then whole array will be iterated and also we can modify our names array from the for loop just like this if i say the names of 0 or names of i will be abc this can also be done but suppose the name array is a protected data and we do not want it to change anything in this array so in that case there is a huge risk for using the for loop because we can accidentally modify our whole original array but in case of the map function the map function always try to create one new array with the original one and the map function guarantees to iterate each of the element of an array without giving any condition or iterating variable we just needed to write an array name in our case it is names and then write dot map and pass any function which we wanted to apply in each of the elements in the array you can pass a arrow function which takes a argument of element and returning the value of the capitalized word so whatever the map function is do that it will iterate each of the element and passes each of the elements value inside the arrow function and whatever things it will pass or whatever the values the arrow function will return with the help of this returning value the map function will create one new array and you can also store the values inside one variable just like i am storing this value in new array so by map function it will create one new array containing the returning value of this arrow function and in our case it will always return our capitalized word from our names array just like tony it will first came into element and then capitalize 
from the add function and whenever the add function returns something it will came inside our new array this new array and our names array are totally different or totally separated from each other so if i change anything in the new array it will not affect our original names array and also you can write the whole syntax of the map function with a shorter term just passing the function name in our case we are passing the capitalized function which we have declared here so this is a short version of what we are trying to do inside this and just for now just comment out these things and save this and runs once and see the output what it will get so i click on this just wait for some time okay you can see oh uh, there are four console logs and these four console logs came from here and after for loop there are two console log and after map function there is also two console log so names array before for loop it's our original array and after for loop it changes to the capitalized name and also before the map function our original array is same and after the map function the new array is the our required format with the capitalize each of the names so you can see the for loop returning output and the map function returning output is similar but we get some easily modified functionalities with the map function and also the privacy or the protection of our array is maintained by the map function where there is always a risk for using the for loop inside our code and also if i say the more benefits about the map function over the for loop it's true iteration map function definitely iterates each of the element in an array and it is immutability the function map function creates a new array and leaves the original array left alone so it is a useful features of the map function that it did not change anything in the original array and also the scope isolation and reusability as we pass the function inside the map function the variable scope become limited inside the map function and also we can use the map function whatever time we want and also the cleaner code not need to specify the loop condition iterating variables just passing the function makes it cleaner code and easy to understand you can also see this this code need to sometimes to understand less like where the iteration very well starting from from where its condition is matching or not and also the how the iterating very well is incrementing and the logic but inside our map function there is simple one function declared and we can also simplify this by writing this type of syntax so the cleaner code is obviously one of the main benefits of using map function over the for loop and there is also lots of other functionalities or lots of other ways or benefits of map function over the for loop you can also check this other functionalities in the google also and i miss something that is for each loop for each loop is some kind of a mixture of map function and the for loop but the same case is in the for each loop we need to specify one array previously empty array and also in the for each loop we can modify our original array so it is also not a recommended way so that's why we use the map function over the for loop and the for each loop so i hope this answer will helpful for you and this will clear the doubts for each of you so if you like this video and know something new so please like and also comment out and then subscribe and please share it with your friends so see you in the next video bye bye